What's going on everyone? We're going to get into it with the strategy and the membership. For those of you that may who may be still confused or feel like you're left behind, don't worry. We're still in the infancy of all this. We're going to get together and make sure it all makes sense. So that way everyone's on the same page. And um, remember, the goal here is not to hold your hand and walk with you. It's to teach you how we're doing it. So that way you can do it on your own because it is pretty simple. Let's go and take a look. So forward again, and I first and foremost appreciate the support. If done right, we should come out with some very nice compounded gains here in the next few months, hopefully longer, but we'll have to see. It should be viable again, as long as the repo demand stays as high as it is. Uh, we'll have to just wait and see. But for one thing is certain, gaps are occurring, they can be exploited, and that's what we are basically trying to do. Now the membership breakdown, um, this video will be explaining the strategy as well as the membership as a whole for those who may still be confused and where to go and be directed on how to communicate um, with me and the rest of the members in the Discord and things like that. So there's four tiers currently on the channel. I'm We're, we're in tier one right now. It will remain for those of you who wish to show support. Uh, if you just want to watch my regular videos like I normally put out about the market, um, membership isn't technically necessary unless you wanted access to the FUDSTOP community um, in general. Now tier two is going to be the trading strategy. It's where it starts. It, you, you'll have access to the members only discussion chat and voice chat in the discord. This is the tier if you're looking for plays to be called and I will be most often calling those plays in, in members only discord but I'll also make a post on YouTube as well. But uh, most of the time we'll be in discord. Now tier three is, uh, so Ultimate Trading Insights is the name of it, where I will get a little more personal with the group and share screenshots from positions, account size, and provide updates on a daily basis, and spend a little bit more of my time going in depth on the uh, mechanics of intraday holding, things like that. For those of you who want to be, or may want to take this a little bit more seriously, um, maybe for you. And then after much request, uh, I have a few people that just really wanted to just have one-on-one -on -one sessions, so I set this up. I, I don't know how it's going to go. It's kind of just, I'm going to throw it out there and see. Because if I get too many people, obviously, there's only a limited amount of time that I have during the day. But um, basically, 60 minutes of my time per month that you will get either in one or two sessions. Totally up to you. We'll have to see how this one goes. It'll just be a one-on-one -on -one to answer your questions. If you have any trouble with the strategy or outside the strategy, market in general, uh, that'll be what that's for. So that's basically the breakdown. Now, as far as the Discord, the, the Discord link, which I'll... I'll provide this below as well, is discord.gg slash FUDSTOP. In order to gain access to the membership channel, you must link your Discord to YouTube by going into Discord and following the instructions on the following slide. So the first thing you'll do if you don't have Discord is you'll download it, you'll just make an account, you will go to the link, you'll sign up and go through the onboarding process in Discord. It should be very easy. DeepD, our programmer, has made it very easy to walk through the, the, the process of signing up. Um, our API will match the YouTube tiers with the user and will automatically grant you access once you connect Discord to YouTube. Now, FUDSTOP is accessible for free by any member. Only the member's discussion regarding plays is sealed for the tier 2 and higher for, of course, privacy from shills and bots and things like that. So to link your Discord to YouTube on a PC, you'll go and you'll log into Discord and then at the bottom here, you'll see your name. You'll see a settings gear. You click on that. And then you go to connections, and once in connections, you will see YouTube right here. You'll see connect your accounts. You'll just select YouTube, and then you'll follow the, the prompt. Once you do that, you should be good to go. Now, it's step one, as far as the strategy and trading itself. I highly recommend it, but it's not, um, you know, you don't have to, it's, it's, it's optional. But I would highly recommend you get Weeble, unless you're familiar with some of these tools on other UI. Weevil is by far the easiest and straightforward to use in my opinion for options. Now, shares, no, not so much, but I like to use it for options. They do have a share lending program for shares, so I'm, I'm not a fan of that. But as far as options, they are fantastic. Um, they provide the fastest, easiest, and most resourceful AI out there and UI out there for options. And they also provide free Oprah real-time quotes, which is a necessity for the strategy. Now, they also provide an IRA. I would I highly recommend it. This plays or this strategy is going to require lots and lots of plays in and out. Um, not necessarily multiple per day, but there's going to be plenty of opportunities here. So you, it would be a good opportunity to save on those taxes and just pay in one lump sum once you're ready to take the money out. 
So just an option again, none of this is required, totally optional, just my opinion. If you're trading shares, um, that's fine. The strategies can still be exploited. Um, and actually maybe even a little bit easier because you'll have pre-market and after hours to work with as well, which you cannot trade options during pre-market and after hours. So the no worries there. We'll, we'll get there and we'll make sure that's all ironed out as well. Basically the same strategy applies. Instead of buying the calls, you just buy the shares at the same time we call the calls. Now, if day trading limits are a problem for you, I would recommend waiting until you have at least three, you know, the full amount available. That way, if you do something and you fat finger a, a play and you get in a little too early, that way you can get out real quick and not have to set on a loss and you don't have to worry about those day trades. Just a recommendation. Again, um, all recommendations here. Now, there will be a lot of plays, so please have some patience. If you don't, if you don't understand it right now, um, it should change here in a few days again. We're doing the same thing every single time for the most part. And um, yeah, it's, it's basically just exploiting gaps around earnings. So the Weeble UI will be the next step to learn it. Just kind of sp spend some time and look through the Weeble UI. It's fantastic. Options are smooth. They fill quickly. Um, and by the way, I do not use the PC Weeble. I only trade on my phone. I've been doing it for my phone this whole year. That's all I've done. I mean, it's very, very simple. They make it very easy. Again, gamification, right? So in the Weeble UI, we're going to be using the following tools. We're going to be using the options chain, obviously. Make sure to sign up for that Oprah real-time quotes. It's free. Volume analysis for intraday decisions is critical for when uh, making those decisions when to buy and get out. And then the MACD for intraday decisions and the RSI if you're playing shares. And of course, maximum pain is an important concept as well uh, that's involved here. So I trade only use my phone again. I don't use uh, PC. I recommend doing the same, but the choice is obviously yours. I won't be going over the Weeble UI on computer as I don't use it. However, I will go over the tools I just mentioned previously. That way you can at least see it. And um, it, it does look the same on the phone. Now, the plays we're targeting. This is literally what it is. It's nothing more. In the Weeble UI, if you go to the Markets tab on the left, once you open it, it's right there. You go right there, click on Markets, and then you'll see all this shit come up. You're going to want to get rid of all this shit. All you're going to need to uh, worry about is the calendar section of this little uh, menu here. So get rid of all this other stuff by clicking these little hash marks here and then selecting Minimize so that you can just have your earnings calendar open and it looks more like this. So as you can see here, we have all of our earnings plays nicely lined up for us in order. You even have the release time, the EPS estimates there on some of them. Now, this does not mean all of these are plays. The criteria will not fit all of these. For example, this one here doesn't fit. There's no gaps to play off of recently. This one here doesn't fit. Sumo, there's not really any gaps to play off of recently. There's some up here, but I would not, um, I don't think I would do that as far as a gap play because it's not the size of gap I'm looking for. I'm looking for more of something like, like this. Now, however, you can see here, I drew a line at this gap here. Now you can tell it's trying to fill that gap, right? So this is today for Coop. Coop has earnings next Monday. So I almost am fairly certain this will either tank today in pre-market or after hours, I mean, or it will tank Monday morning in pre-market. So again, these gaps are huge because a gap, all a gap is is a space that's not traded. There's no price discovery in that zone. So naturally the chart is driven back down to that area so we can have some price discovery in that area. That's basically all we're doing. We're just exploiting that almost guaranteed movement up or down in a direction based on a gap and then capitalizing on the small movement by buying in the money puts or slightly out of the money, I'm sorry, in the money calls or slightly out of the money calls um, for the play. So this is the gap. Again, I drew a line down here where I think it might gap down to on Monday for earnings, but you never know. We'll have to wait and see. I usually, right now, we're just sticking to after the gap. Eventually, we're going to get to where we're going to time the gap and get it beforehand. But right now, we're just going to worry about after the gap until everyone gets that down. So once you find the gaps to fill, then we look to Max Payne and the options chain. So in the options chain for Coop, we can see here that um, we don't have any open interest anywhere, basically, on the calls. Um, except 210. Now, interestingly enough, on the put side, we still have 1.2K open at 210, and we have 4.2K open at 185. 
So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Could be another DocuSign scenario. The chart looks kind of just like it. Now, put side is support and the call side is resistance. So the, this side here is your is your support. This side here is your resistance. I know it's, it's counterintuitive, but that's how options work. If you think about it, a put cannot be anything but bullish for a stock because the only way a put can affect the stock price is if it is exercised. And if you exercise a put, that means you're buying shares, which means it's positive for price movement. Calls, in the, on the other hand, the only way a call can be executed in, in an options chain or exercised would be bearish because you're selling shares. So keep that in mind. It's counterintuitive. Now, once we, we look at all this, determine where the liquidity is. And what I say by liquidity is where is the open interest? Once we do that, and we can see that right here at the max support line, we have a shit ton more puts than calls. So it'll be crucial to see how this changes next week on Monday. And that IV, by the way, is super low. So once you do that and you, and you verify the options chain, then you go to MaximumPain.com or Maximum-Pain.com slash options slash whatever stock you want to look at. So I, I picked the 1217 expiration. It seems to be a popular date for price swing. Um, and we can see here, max pain is 250. Stock price is 168.48. So right here, that's the difference. That's your profit potential between stock price and max pain as of today. Now this changes every day. So this is, this is a process. You're going to have to get like look at this every day. If you're in a stock play, if you've already bought, this is critical. This is, this is going to tell you basically your ceiling, right? This is your ceiling right now. And really, I like to discount a nice 10 to 20% from the ceiling to get a more realistic number. So I'm thinking like 220, 215, maybe even a little lower. So now we go back to the calls to see where to buy, if not in the money. So we can see for set with the week of the 17th the best bet to buy calls would literally be this 170 mark because that's where the most liquidity is at so again this could change on monday just just giving you an example and again this is all we're doing right we have bed bath and beyond here we have uh you know trade desk there we have another one here another one there you can see a clear pattern all gapping all on earnings so just keep that in mind now, intraday holding and volume analysis, this is where the most questions come in. And this is what's going to take time and practice on your part. So in Weeble, if you go to any stock, go to the chart tab on the top and then scroll down a little bit and you'll find time and sales and volume analysis. This is super important. So what you have here is you have buy is green, sell is red, and gray is neutral volume. So you can add up and do quick glances. You'll get it down eventually where you can look at these percentages and it, it can tell you it's basically a snapshot of where the price is going to go for the current day. This changes in real time as orders come in. So if a big block order comes in at, at the current price, you'll see a big bullish indicator come up right here. So this is a very overlooked indicator to use to trade intraday with options especially. I usually just do a quick scan of the percentages again to add up real quick just to kind of get a, an idea of where it could be going. If it's a little bit tricky, if there are a lot of even percentages like what we see here, then uh, you know I'll wait a little while. But uh, oftentimes you'll see shit like this, you know, something that's just very apparently bearish looking. Like most of the volume, I mean, that that's just absurd difference <laughs> for uh, for Coop. This is our stock on Monday. C O U P could be a potential play. We'll have to wait and see. So anyways, that's basically it for as far as the strategy. It's, it's nothing more complicated than that. I don't use technicals. They're broken like the technicals you see every other YouTuber use. Um, you know, it just it is what it is. Now, if you would like to sign up for Weeble, uh, they do have a promotion where they're giving a share of Apple. I think someone just got one today. So if you want to use that link, I'll provide it below. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, let me know. But I'll be going over this in a little bit more detail again. This is kind of just the uh, introductory overall uh, what we're doing so hopefully it made sense